The median age um, of AML patients is in the high 60s. It's sort of 67 to 70 years old, depending on where you are. And treating older patients is complicated. They have um, often other medical comorbidities or issues on other medications. They might have complicated social issues that make taking care of them problematic. So I would say that even with the current very promising landscape of new medications for AML, the actual treatment of older patients remains challenging. And one of the um, important sessions of today's meeting here in Budapest was to discuss what could potentially be added to standard baseline regimens of low-dose cytarabine, azacitidine, and dicitabine, which are commonly offered to older patients with AML. And the idea is for older patients who may not be able to tolerate intensive chemotherapy or actually for whom intensive chemotherapy may not be beneficial due to their disease biology, they're usually given either low-dose RSE or azacitidine or dicitabine, but with the full knowledge that these treatments don't result in high rates of remission or in prolonged overall survival. So the question is, what can you add on to these regimens to make them better? And there are several categories of um, novel agents that are being investigated that look pretty promising, one of which is venetoclax, the other is IDH1 and 2 inhibitors, and the third category is a FLT3 inhibitors, all of which have many clinical trials in development um, and actually currently on, uh, ongoing and accruing. We also discussed a little bit the potential to add um, immune system drugs, things like checkpoint inhibitors, along um, to hypomethylating agents. These are very preliminary data, but based on some interesting science, and there are very new uh, clinical trials that are just unrolling of checkpoint inhibitors in combination with hypomethylators for AML.